I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. Soybean futures advanced briefly for a six day to the highest level since June of 2018 during Monday's trading session. Traders saying November beans gained roughly 45 cents a last week and December corn futures rallied around 18 cents. The markets being fueled right now on strong demand from China and concerns about deteriorating U.S. crop conditions amid hot and dry weather. Now on Monday, USDA announcing a huge corn buy coming from China at 596,000 metric tons of new crop corn. Something interesting when it comes to food spending, according to the USDA, food spending in June of this year was actually $12 billion less than at the same time last year. This graphic from the Economic Research Service shows that before the pandemic, we spent an average of $137.4 billion per month on food. There was lower food spending in January and February, which continued into the spring, with spending on food falling to $105 billion in April. Spending at restaurants dropped to $36 billion, but rebounded in May. But people are buying up chocolate and candy during the COVID-19 pandemic. The National Confectioners Association reporting sales of chocolate and candy have increased almost 4%, with chocolate sales up more than 5% and premium chocolate up 12%. And most of that buying of sweets is happening at the grocery store. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on this station or anytime at agweb.com.